Hey everyone, this is Paul. Welcome back to RC Foam Fighters. This is going to be part five of the FF Saber Warrior project. Uh, basically, in the last video, we left off. I had the plane pretty much kind of uh, constructed, and it was getting ready to paint. Um, a lot of you guys, when I made the first one, you were asking me how I painted the uh, camouflage paint job on it, and I actually uh, didn't get the video of that. But for this one, I'm uh, getting into painting it, so we're going to film it, and I'll show you how I do it. I know I'm definitely not the best at uh, painting these RC aircraft, uh, but I'll show you my technique. And I'm sure you guys out there will have a lot of good ideas. Um, go ahead and feel free to give me your comments on maybe how I can uh, paint it better next time. But anyway, uh, let's get into it and I'll show you how I paint my uh, planes with the camouflage paint job. Alright everybody, I've got the FF Saber Warrior pretty much all put together and it's ready to start painting. So um, basically, I'm just going to be using three colors. Um, you can use pretty much any three colors you want for the type of camouflage you want to do. I'm going to be doing um, kind of a, um, I guess more of a gray and dark black um, type camouflage. So I'm using three colors. Um, first I'm going to lay down a coat of this uh, this is like a um, dark flat aircraft gray paint and always use like a foam safe paint if you're going to be painting you know Depron or even foam board because uh, other paints can actually eat the uh, foam um, when you're painting it. So basically I usually like to use this Testers brand model paint I'm not sure what's available outside of the U.S., um, but this is the one I like to use. Um, there's not a whole lot in the can, so if you're doing a real big plane, you probably need a couple cans if you're going to be covering the whole plane. Uh, but that's going to be the base coat, so I'm going to do a full coat of the whole airplane with that first. Then we'll come back later, and I'm going to be using some of this blue painter's tape. It's like a masking tape that doesn't stick super hard, but it's good enough um, to mask out the different pa uh, patterns for the camouflage. Um, I'll be coming back, I'll be doing probably a, some of the other gray here, it's a little bit uh, different tone. Then after that I'll mask it off a little bit more and then I'll do some accents with black on there. Okay guys, I got the base coat down of um, just kind of a simple gray, it actually it's called semi-gloss um, primer gray that I'm using for the base coat. And now I'm going to be taking some of this painter's tape, now it's going to be ripping it in kind of um, random patterns and that will give you kind of an organic look and I'm going to be masking off the pattern that's going to be painted with the next color. So uh, let me start ripping some of the tape and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, I got the uh, painter's tape all laid out on the plane. Uh, I just made some real random stripes on there. So I'm going to be using another tone of gray. I'm going to spray over the parts that aren't covered and then uh, that'll give it the first layer of camouflage. Then after it dries I'll come back and I'll mask off a little bit more along the edges a little bit and then we'll come back with some black and add the third tone of the camouflage. Alright everyone, I've now painted the second layer of uh, camouflage and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the last third layer of some accents of black. Uh, basically I'm just going to leave all the tape that's already on there and I'm going to come to certain edges, just randomly pick and I'm going to mask off a little bit around the edges and um, basically I'm just going to paint over it with some black right around the edges. So just pick off, a, you know, a few random spaces all over the airplane to add a little bit of black accents on there of the uh, area that's still exposed on the plane. Okay, so we're going to paint over the other two layers with a little bit of black and then that'll give it the uh, final accents to the camouflage. Alright everyone, I've got all the paint down so now I'm just going to peel off all the tape and uh, see how our camouflage came out. Alright everyone, here's a quick look at the uh, FF Saber Warrior. I've now peeled all the tape off and uh, this is kind of the result of the camouflage job that I uh, painted on the plane. I definitely uh, didn't spend a lot of time on it. I pretty much rushed it, so it's not as good as I was hoping. Um, but I think it'll uh, do the job. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably a lot better at me than at uh, painting these aircraft. So I'm sure it would come out a lot better if you spent a little bit more time um, really taping it off nicely instead of just kind of randomly doing it like I did. Uh, but basically I think this will be good enough for the prototype. So um, I'm going to leave off on the video for here today, and the next video we're going to be getting into putting all the electronics in it, and uh, getting it ready, and hopefully doing the maiden flight. So thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you guys soon.